Grand Challenge is the biggest single institution postgraduate design project in the world and it brings together the power of the collective of approaching 400 postgraduate students across seven different programs in the School of Design to collectively and collaboratively challenge global issues. We are super excited about the project and uh, Grand Challenge is a really big topic about the ocean. So, and also our team are from different backgrounds so there are lots of things to explore. Putting your trust in other people and realising that you can come together as, as a team and make something amazing after only three weeks. We were having a lot of fun spending time brainstorming and coming up with new ideas and thinking about how this virtual world might look and how we're going to interact with it. It's good, I like the way that the RCA have put us together because we've actually, you know, really positively encouraged each other in all our different specialisms. Yeah, I guess the thing I found most inspiring was sort of working on a brief that I might never usually work on with a team that I'd never usually work with. When I first looked at the brief, I was quite intimidated because this was not a project that I'm used to doing. I ended up doing most of the visuals for the project with illustration. I enjoyed it and I like the social aspect. It's quite exciting also always from the tutor point of perspective because you get so much different inputs from different students and that's quite an amazing project. The idea behind Grand Challenge is to set a specific project that touches all areas of the School of Design. So whether you're designing shoes, or whether you're designing cars, or whether you're designing services, the things that you bring together to the Grand Challenge collectively take you beyond any of those parameters. And it really does illustrate the transformative capability of design. We call it a planet thinking project, if you will, where these multidisciplinary teams will come together and they have a, a leading series of lectures from experts globally feeding into their thinking leading up to the Grand Challenge and then they have a four week period of intense activity uh, developing lots of fresh thinking and innovation and ideas to this. This year the theme was the oceans and the title of the project was New Economic Models for the Oceans. And we asked our students to tackle different challenges that happen within our oceans as a start point to explore and challenge what design can bring and what contribution designers can make to tackling global challenges. So what we're trying to do in the Grand Challenge is to get students to think at scale and to be aware of the consequences. And in research terms, our staff, key members of our, of our design staff have been involved in research. In this project, we've designed and built and installed an artificial intelligence system on a ship in Greenland, the St. Helena. And that ship is sailing all the way across the North Atlantic to Sardinia, and then to Poole in Dorset. And it's uh, using AI and a camera system, we're capturing all the objects on the surface of the ocean, and then understanding what those objects are. So Extremely support our NEMO project by giving us access to the ship and allowing us to put our technology on board. And they also connect us to the scientific committee as well, so that we can get uh, access to world's top scientists around researching climate change and the world's oceans. The benefit for the RCA students is that they can see this real-time data that we've, we've captured as staff researchers, so that en enables them to incorporate that research directly into their design projects. One of the important aspects is that the Grand Challenge exposes students to, th to things like ethics, sustainability, new manufacturing uh, techniques and new materials, some of which they may not use in their day-to-day -day disciplinary thinking, but gives them this bigger picture, this bigger sense of a lot more going on and also at the same time appreciating that design as a discipline is largely multidisciplinary. The value of the grand challenge to the students is learning about teamwork and building networks not just within the institution but beyond the parameters of the institution as well and the value of those networks as they go forward out after they've graduated from the RCA into their careers will be of lasting importance. The ocean is hugely inspirational. It's one of those areas that hasn't been entirely explored and it's this huge part of the world that really does influence all of the different sort of like economies in terms of energy, in terms of the food that we eat. As 
a global population, we're consuming so many different aspects of the ocean and we're not really replenishing all of that. It was actually a really broad brief to be fair, so we all went off and did our own types of research, all found areas we were quite interested in and kind of pitched each other's ideas to each other. Kind of looked at particular uh, microorganisms and um, plantations in the ocean already that capture microplastics on the surface. So we're trying to, you know, kind of figure out a way of encouraging that near the shores and thinking of ways of making it quite spectacular in the sense of it appeals to the mass. Thinking about VR could be a way to look at the world in a fish or whales or dolphins' wheels to experience this kind of like noise pollution in the water. Our project was all about seabed. We sort of learned how important it's going to be in the future of sort of carbon capture. The idea was a, it's like an oyster drone ship. So it was a kayak sized thing that was autonomous and it would drive around the coasts eating up algae and producing more oysters than farmers could do otherwise. We had an analog instrument that can be played by the movement of the current on coral reefs, which are abandoned or dying to mimic the crackling sounds of healthy coral reefs because baby fish, having spawned in open water, listen to the sound of a healthy reef to navigate towards it, which is where they settle down. Logitech has been an amazing sponsor for the School of Design and they're quite an amazing company in their own right, highly successful uh, and we have the great um, joy and privilege to work directly with Brackendall who's the CEO and of course uh, Logitech's chief designer Alistair Curtis and Logitech have been there with us throughout this journey. I think it's interesting for them just to see where the latest thinking is in design and innovation fresh coming straight from our students. And we're about to, of course, make final judgments around the winners of this year's Grand Challenge. Across all of the 70 projects that we've looked at, all the staff who've been involved in the Grand Challenge are supremely impressed with the level of creativity, originality, and innovation within their projects and the responses and I really hope that we see some of those projects come to real-time fruition.